Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Alpine Linux 3.21 on VMware Workstation. First, we will download, then we will install on VMware Workstation. Go to Alpine Linux official website and download. Hit enter, click on downloads. See here, the current version is 3.21. Okay, then install it, then click on x86 64. Click on it. To download see download started go to download see here its size is 241 megabytes wait until download completes i am cancelling because see here i have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes once download completes then open vmware workstation if you want to install vmware workstation on your machine then there is a link in the video description you can go through it and you can install it on windows or linux operating systems click on vmware workstation then click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Then click on next. Then select the downloaded IS file. Click on browse. Go to downloads. See here we have the Alpine standard ISO file. Open. Then click on next. Then select Linux and version as Linux. Other Linux 6.x kernel 64 bit. Then click on next. Then here we have to provide the name. Alpine. 321 VM. This is just virtual machine name. Then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders by clicking on this browse button. Make a new folder for this one. Hit enter. Click on OK. Click on next. Now we have to provide virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. It is up to you. Click on next. Then memory. Click on customize hardware. Then give the Use this pointer to move up or provide manually. 4096, that is, I am giving 4 gigabytes. Then click on close. If you are okay with all the settings, click on finish. Still, if you want to edit settings, click on edit virtual machine settings or right click on it and select settings or select it and click on settings. All three options are same. Okay, if you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Now we have to set up. So now we have to give login name as root. Hit enter. It won't ask password. Now we have to set up the Alpine. So type setup Alpine. Hit enter. Now we have to select the K map. So I am using US keyboard layout also same. Hit enter. Now we have to provide the host name. By default host name is localhost. I am giving host name as Alpine 321 VM. Hit enter. Do you want to slice interface? So hit enter. Hit enter again. Do you want to do any manual network configuration? No. Wait a moment. Now we have to set up the password for the root type. Confirm the same. Hit enter. Now time zone. See here we have different time zones. I am going with UTC only. So enter or if you want to provide asia just give asia okay utc proxy none hit enter network time protocol i am going with a crony hit enter see here we have the following apk mirrors so enter the apk mirror number or url so type r for the random mirror hit enter now we have to create or set up user. By default no, so I want to create, so provide the username. This will be the user full name, so I am giving both are same. Then set the password. Confirm the same. None. SS server open SSH only. Hit enter. Now disk and install. So give the, we have SDA, give SDA. Then give the sys. Hit enter. Wait, it is configured. Now, erase above disk and continue. Yes, type yes and hit enter. Now it is creating file systems. See, everything done. Now we have to reboot. But before rebooting, right click on this virtual machine settings, then go to CD DVD and select these checkboxes. Then click on OK. Otherwise, it will start the fresh installation. Now, type reboot and hit enter. Yeah, 
now provide the username provide root or user that you have created provide the password of root account that we have set see we have successfully connected now verify the version more slash etc os hyphen release see here we have installed alpine linux 3.2.12 if you want to verify ip of this machine you if config see this is the ip of the machine okay now point the repository cd etc apk tenter ls see here we have the repositories vi repositories tenter remove the hash in the third line save the file tenter controlling now update repositories apk update tenter okay controlling now we have to set up graphical interface set up hyphen xr xr hyphen base hit enter all these commands will be there in the video description it is done control it to clear screen again now install pci utils apk pci utils hit enter now we have to give the add hit enter it is done now we need to add the video drivers so apk search hyphen xf86 video hit enter now install them it is fb dev hit enter i will keep all the correct commands in the video description now search for input drivers apk search xf86 hyphen input hit enter it is type see here we have these input drivers install these input drivers now install virtualbox guest editions it is done now we have to install genome utilities hit enter type it is not menus so there must be hyphen between genome and menus hit enter this may take time now we need to add the following services rc update add dbus udev virtual box guest editions then gdm hit enter so we have to give one at a time it is done u dev hit enter we have to give add hit enter virtual box guest editions hit enter now gdm that is genome desktop manager hit enter all done now reboot hit enter now we will get the graphical interface see got the graphical interface click on username hit enter provide the password and hit enter click on skip okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install alpha and linux 3.21 on vmware workstation for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you